All right, Notary and Live Scam family. Today, we're talking about growing your Live Scam business. I'm just gonna tell you some things that I've done that worked for me that I'm sure will work for you. Number one, I go through Certifix if you didn't know already, and what they will do is advertise for you on their website, okay? So when people call or when they need um, fingerprints, they can find you on the Certifix website. Same thing with the DOJ. They sent me an email and said, hey, fill this out and so we can post you on our website, and the DOJ does that. So people will find you on Certifix and through the DOJ. Also, accepting account numbers and prepaid tokens, which I do uh, both. Um, account numbers are uh, companies who make an account with Certifix, and they use that number. You use that number to put in your computer so you don't charge them right then. What happens is Certifix charges the company and they'll funnel that money to you. Same thing with the prepaid tokens. Uh, people will prepay online and give you that token, put it in your computer. You don't charge them. And then Certifix will funnel that money to your bank account. So that's one way. All right. Um, making, making an A named business has helped me my business is a 3f notary and live scam my first name is aaron a a ron so people have found me because or chose me because i was first on the list some companies will give people a list of local live scam businesses in the area and they alphabetize them so because my name starts with a i mean my company starts with a i'm at the top of the list they call me we meet and we knock it out so making an a named business does help Next is Google My Business, which is a no-brainer. If you do not have Google My Business, stop watching this video. Go make you a Google My Business page and get that going, all right? Because most people Google everything that they need. If it's not on Amazon, they find it on Google. If it's not on Google, they find it on Amazon. That's the two places we all, all go. Because I'll ask people, how'd you find me? And they say, oh, I found you on Google. Um, so, no, hold on. I'll say Google in this things popped up um, Yelp which I have made a Yelp page but I don't use I don't advertise on I I don't even know if I still have the app installed but Yelp is a good place okay um, I don't use utilize it which I do need to but Google my business has worked for me um, also use Yelp I've had some general notary work in the past from there but not a live scan um, school districts excuse me so <clears throat> I've done I've done live scans for um, substitute teachers, traveling subs, uh, parents uh, volunteering with their kids, volunteering for their kids' school. What you can do is go up to the school district, let them know you do live scans, hopefully mobile, and they can maybe next time they have an event at the school, like a back to school night, you can set up a, a little table and do live scans for any parents that want to be volunteers. And you can imagine there's like, when they do have that, there's probably 200 parents and I'm sure at least 15 of them would want to volunteer especially when they don't have to worry about um, driving somewhere to do the live scan okay so that's another option to do uh, churches I've done a few churches the they need to be background check if they work if they're working with kids because you want to know who's around your kids okay um, so, so that's a good one. You can go to the church, you can email them, you can call them if you know people that work for a church or when somebody comes to you as a volunteer for the church, you can let them know, Hey, if you can talk to blah, 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 whoever's at your church, I do the live scan, I'll do mobile or if not mobile, they can come to you. All right. But at least you have some type of advertisement that way. Um, I did my church live scan. I went to the church. It was on a Saturday for one, uh, for all of them. I think a couple Saturday and one was on a Sunday. But there was one congregation, it was it was huge. It was like 80 people one day. The following weekend, it was another 80. All right, which was nice, getting the whole pie. But live scanning 80 people, one person live scanning 80 people back to back, um, took a few hours. Okay, all 80 weren't there at one time. It was like from 9 to 9.30, 9.30 to 10. Then they would show up at their scheduled appointment time. But still, I was going back to back to back to back. Which brings me to my next point, which is introduce yourself to other live scan agents. Call people in the city next door, the city next door, next door. Okay, uh, find out what they do. Talk about their business, how they're growing, or uh, tell them what you've done that works for them. See if you guys can link up, share information, and maybe you can have somebody to help you. Which is what, which would have been nice for me, if 
if I had some help um, when I did the church. Okay? Because, yes, I make less money, but also we cut that time in half, which um, customer satisfaction and Google reviews are worth more than making a whole lot of money at one time. Okay? Um, two, 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 two. Next is, oh, getting accounts. So this is kind of random. I've been doing live scan for almost two years now. And there are three accounts that I work with routinely. One of them I work with sporadically throughout the month. Another one I may go once a month or, or twice a month to the location and live scan the class. And the other one I've, I just started doing uh, weekly um, live scans for their class when they have new new hires. And um, so the sporadic I got because they were working with another company and they would have to cancel or reschedule and they just said, forget it, we're calling somebody else. So they called me and said, hey, do you do live scans? I said, yeah, I do mobile. And they said, oh, shoot, you do mobile? Uh, let me find out if that's cool. And they called the boss, called me back, said, yep, mobile is all good. The reason I'm calling you is because I was working with another company and we they were too many reschedules and cancellation. I said, well, good thing for you. I've never had to reschedule or cancel in the two years that I've been doing live scan. And it's mobile. So it works out even better for, for their people because some of them work nine to five some live scan places are mostly nine to five or during the day and it's hard to figure that out but if i can go to them right before work i'm in and out in 10 minutes and get the live scan done that's pretty good so um that's how i got that account the other one where i'll work once a month or once or twice a month i'll go out and get live scan the class um i got that one because they had sent three people out to get live scanned and only one of them, uh, the results came back in a timely manner, and that was from me. And I don't think I had personally anything to do with it. It's, I don't. The live scans don't uh, have a quicker process depending on who sends them in. Once they're uploaded, they're uploaded. It could just been the people and by chance. But anyway, she called and said, "Hey, you're the only one that came back quickly. Um, I'm gonna send all my people to you." And I was like, "Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I do mobile." She said, "What? Oh, so you can come to my class? That's even better." Um. And I say, yeah, so I'll drive out of town. It's probably like 45 minutes to the class and I'll scan all the people once or twice a month because if she sent me people one by one, I'd only be able to do people in this area. So I'm willing to spend the gas to live scan more versus spending almost no gas to live scan one or two sometimes. So that's how I got that one. And this third one, what the one I do weekly, um, I forgot how they, they I think they found me on Google. And I'm pretty sure I put mobile live scan because they called and they said, oh, you do mobile? You can come to the class? Absolutely. And they say, hey, well, we're doing this weekly. Let's get you in here weekly. No problem. Because having live scan there is so convenient. I had to get, I started doing visitation monitoring and I had to go get live scan and ain't no mobile live scan people out here. We need some more. Well, no, we don't need no more because I want to do it all. But not having mobile live scan is 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 not convenient i have to call one place and they say hey we got we'll get you in in two hours two or three hours and and i was like oh, okay i called another place and they said hey oh yeah it's two hours and i end up going to the one place and the air condition didn't work they the live scan business word was their second hustle not the main hustle so they don't put as much time in attention to it so I had to wait I was sitting there for 30 minutes and so I just left it made me upset then I went back to the original place that gave me the the three hour um schedule but anyway the whole thing was inconvenient I'm driving around two different places spent all this time anyway um mobile live scan is super helpful for everybody involved okay you'll get quicker business and it, it looks it looks good on you and it makes it convenient for whoever's getting the live scan all right, so um, did I say Google reviews? I don't think I brought up Google reviews. If you don't have Google reviews, get you some Google reviews, okay? Repeat after me. If you don't have Google reviews, get you some Google reviews. I don't have that many. I just have a handful. Uh, I need a lot more. But I've had had people who called me, who choose me, chose me only because of my reviews. They said, yeah, the reason I called you is because uh, you have good reviews. Otherwise, I wouldn't have called you, which I make that makes sense because I don't buy stuff from Amazon if it doesn't have good reviews. 
All right. So get you some reviews. Okay. Um, next is join your chamber of commerce in your city because now you have a whole list of people you can call and network with and tell them about your business and why you will be a benefit for them and how you, they can be a benefit for you. You guys can mingle and grow together. Also, uh, business mixers in your city are a good way. Okay, um, if you're if you're uncomfortable just randomly speaking to people, give me a call. We can practice. Okay, we'll set up. We we'll figure it out because I'm naturally more of a shy, isolated person, but I don't have a problem jumping out and speaking to people. Okay, I used to, but I took this sales job where if I didn't talk, I didn't get paid. So I forced myself um, to talk. So Chamber of Commerce, business mixers, get out there and meet new people. Tell them what you do because people may not know. They may not know. All right. Um, also, last one is um, on the Certifix website. I'm sure other websites, uh, the businesses have the same thing, but I'll put a picture right here. Um, you can download all different type of life scan forms. Um, teachers, law enforcement, nursing, state bar, uh, record review, etc. Uh, teachers, substitute teachers, um, insurance agents, they all have to go take a test or some type of training. Find out where that training is. You call that place and let them know you will come out there and do the life scan. All right. You got to do a little bit of footwork. But anyway, um, Having that list um, gives you different options to people who need life scan and you just find out who they report to. Okay? So you got a bunch of ways to advertise your business and grow your business, but you can email me. You can email me or text me here. I'll put the number right here. Okay? Email or text me. And then uh, that's it. Get out there. Grow your business. Hope it goes well.